All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Iowa Live. You know, we are so excited to announce the kickoff of the Salvation Army Kettle Campaign. But as you might imagine, 2020 has presented a whole new set of challenges. So here's Major Jason Pop. He's the Iowa Capital Area Coordinator of the Salvation Army to explain. Good morning and welcome to our 2020 Kettle Kickoff event virtually, of course, which is appropriate for this season. I know this, this time this year has been a time of uncertainty and we know the need is great this year and will be great as we head into Christmas and beyond. But we also know with certainty that the good people of Des Moines and the surrounding areas and the great people of Iowa and the companies and organizations that come together will rise to meet that need. And so we're excited to kick off our campaign this year. Uh, and I'm gonna start with a very special guest as I hand things over to Governor Kim Reynolds for a special declaration. Greetings from our beautiful state capitol. As we look forward to the holiday season, the spirit of giving is needed this year more than ever. So I'm so proud to sign this proclamation and help the Salvation Army rescue Christmas for families all across our state. Whereas the Salvation Army has been serving the people of Iowa for 133 years, both physically and spiritually, and whereas the Salvation Army is present wherever the need is greatest, especially during the COVID-19 crisis, where citizens are more at risk of becoming homeless, hungry, addicted, or spiritually tired. And whereas the Salvation Army aims to rescue Christmas for the millions of people that they serve every year and continue to provide life-changing aid to those who need it most. And whereas it is fitting and proper on Salvation Army Day and on every day to recognize the tremendous impact of volunteerism and community service in the state of Iowa. And whereas Salvation Army Day is an opportunity to encourage citizens to serve others with their resources and time during the difficult period that we are all experiencing. Now therefore I, Kim Reynolds, Governor of the State of Iowa, do hereby proclaim November 9th, 2020 as Salvation Army Day in Iowa and urge all citizens to join together to give back to the community in any way that is personally meaningful. Thank you, Governor. I'm Lieutenant Governor Adam Gregg, and we are so thrilled to be part of the Salvation Army's Rescue Christmas Red Kettle Campaign. It's easy to join us by visiting fundraiseforgood.org, a website where you can make a donation, or even better, create your own virtual Red Kettle fundraiser. So let's keep this going. Here you go, Rob. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor. I'm Rob Feeney with Atlantic Bottling Company. We're pretty bummed we can't support the Salvation Army in person at the Kettles this year, but we're bringing them in our branches and we're gonna be supporting them across our territory. Thank you for the support. Please join us. Thank you, Rob. Greetings, I'm Gary Palmer, President and CEO of Prairie Meadows. We'd like to invite you to help us support the Salvation Army by donating or sponsoring to your local Salvation Army. Happy holidays. I'm thrilled to lead PepsiCo's participation in the Salvation Army's Red Kettle campaign. 2020 has been a hard year and the needs of families now are greater more than ever. But every small act of generosity helps. I am honored to raise awareness to how PepsiCo and its associates in Urbandale and Cedar Rapids can help during this holiday season. We're proud to be part of the local Iowa communities that we serve. The need has always been there. The need for food, shelter, clothing, compassion. The need for help overcoming addiction. The need to support families. Love the forgotten. The need has always been there. This year, it just happens to be greater. And while this is a year of uncertainty, there are some things we are certain about. Whenever need is there, the great people of Central Iowa rise up to meet the challenge. As we kick off this Christmas season, will you join our friends and partners on this video to be part of Love's Army? Will you help us make the sound of the bell ringing this year a battle cry? 
Will you help us declare loud and strong with every toy given, every meal provided, every food item donated, every angel adopted, every donation in the bucket, every check in the mail, every virtual kettle, that we are love's army and we will rescue Christmas for our friends and neighbors who are battling hopelessness and despair. We thank our friends who've taken the lead and joined us already. And there's always room for more. Ho, ho, ho. Greetings from the North Pole. We are working extra hard this year to make lots of toys because we know it's been an especially hard year for everyone. But we can't meet the need alone. We need your help. Together, we can rescue Christmas for so many children and their families. Will you enlist in Love's Army? There you go, Rescue Christmas being joined right now by Major Jason Puff of uh, the Salvation Army and Morgan Zebor of Atlantic Bottling here this morning. And Major, uh, a big change from what we're normally used to doing, isn't it? Yeah, we weren't even sure we would uh, get to the point where we could have our kettles out at the stores the way things were going for a while. So we're we're so grateful to even have that opportunity. And Morgan, so uh, you know important to have a bunch of different companies uh, like Atlantic Bottling jump on board. Why was this so important to you? So we are always. It's what Atlantic Bottling stands for, to give back to the organizations that benefit our own neighborhoods and the communities that we live and work in. It's awesome. Now, we also understand, you know, people can set up their own virtual kettles. That's what we, we learned from what we just saw here. How do they go about doing that, Major? Well, they go to Des Moines Red Kettle org and uh, literally click a button that says become a fundraiser and uh, you can set up your own virtual kettle right then and there. You can see uh, what you're raising. You can even create teams and compete against your neighbors or your workmates or however you want to do it. Yeah, and it sounds like uh, you have some competition, Morgan, going with some other companies in town too, right? Yes, yes. And um, here at Atlantic Bottling, we are rolling out our virtual kettle um, with all of our employees across our nine branches and holding sort of a competition internally to raise the most money. And then um, at the end, we will match that. And then the best part is that each branch that uh, raises the most money um, whatever money that is raised will be directly impacted to their local Salvation Army um, campaign there. That is great. Now, a major one final thing here. There are some kettles that will be out and you're looking for some volunteers for those too, right? We are always looking for uh, volunteers to ring the bell and you did such a good job in that video. I could recruit you out there too. Uh, but yeah, register to ring.com is where you go for that and we'd be happy to have you. You did a great job. Well, thank you so much. We'll see if we can sneak out there and give it a try. But again, the kettle campaign will march on this year, but just in a different manner. Central USA dot Salvation Army dot org. Get more information there and raise some money. We can fill these kettles in a virtual manner, in a, in a physical manner, but we can get the job done. Thank you both for joining us and good luck and, and we'll keep tabs on how things are going. Sounds great. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. All right.